good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. I'd like to walk you through in this particular exercise a VLOOKUP situation where the IDs down here in column B have been entered as numbers. Now VLOOKUP will not allow the lookup data to be a number. However, of course, in many situations that first column will be what looks like a number. And in fact, in this case, it is a number because I can see up here in the formatting that it's a general format. What I need to do, quite simply, is to select that data and simply format it as text. I'll center a line within the cell but now I can use those numbers here in the ID lookup to enter the data for the first name, surname and age in this particular case. So what I'm going to do here in uh, cell C15 is to start my VLOOKUP formula equals VLOOKUP but what I need to do because I always want uh, Excel to look what is in B15 I have to make that absolute so dollar B dollar 15 comma and the range will be dollar B dollar 4 dollar B dollar 4 to dollar E dollar 10 dollar E dollar 10 now the first name of course is in the second column in the array and because it's not sorted in ascending order I will use the fourth argument of false. Now when I enter in an ID there we'll just test Tom 5 no problem I see Tom. Now what I can do of course is to copy that formula across to surname and age. Now I have to change the column reference here. In this particular cell the column reference will be 3 because the surnames are in the third column. The age of course I need to change the column reference in the formula up here to 4. And there I see for ID number 5 which is now a text ID remembering that Excel will not allow you to use a number uh, as, the, um, as the first argument in the formula and we'll just test one more to make sure it works I'll test 35 I should see fill and certainly I do fill ready number 27 so there's a little tip for you many people have that problem and wonder why they can't get the uh, uh, VLOOKUP formula to work correctly for them. Just bear in mind that uh, where you want to have Excel look up more than one item such as the surname and the age in addition to the first name just remember the um, absolute reference here $B, $15 etc. So um, thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber uh, where there will be lots more tips and tricks available for you. Uh, leave a comment if you need to and also um, a thumbs up would be really nice. Thanks so much for watching.